Hi there, Leo. Welcome to your April 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. Really, really important because, you know, if you hit that like button, um, it allows me to grow the channel quite a bit. And please, please, please subscribe so you don't miss um, it out on anything, if that makes sense, right? So what we will do here, Leos, we will look at the overall energy for the months of April for your sign. And then we will look at your emotional core, see how your emotions play, pan out um, this month and what needs to go, what's coming in, all that kind of stuff. Before we then look at uh, opportunities, which is for the most part, whatever it is that sustains you financially. Okay, the first thing I should say to you, because I'm getting this strongly from the guides before we even go into the overall energy, which is partly overall energy here, but it's just the guides that I have, um, that they just talk. And when they just talk, when they were on this plane, they were elected elders. And so, and then I have these decks here, right? And I oftentimes work with the decks. Um, anyway, these guides, almost on this side, um, are actually talking. And the first thing, uh, with regards to the overall energy for the month of April, the first thing the guides are saying to the sign of Leo is to understand that anything and everything that has to do with whether or not you should do things has to be transparent. If you're not sure where things are going, you might get lost in it. Really, really important. You know, demand transparency transparency no matter what is happening in your life at all times be a hundred percent sure where is this going and if this is going in that direction would that make me feel comfortable right so um but i asked them for a bit more with regards to your over energy because yeah you have the bobcat so the bobcat is saying to you in the month of april 2022 for the sign of leos it is important to look for vantage points, right? So assess where you are in life, right? Demand transparency, but also look for a vantage point from, from, from which to assess everything that's happening in your life. Because my feeling is when they are bringing this up so often is that there might be bigger changes coming your way, Leos, or maybe even bigger opportunities, more things that you can do, and somehow they don't seem to be in the open yet. And uh, in order for you to understand uh, what to do next, if that makes sense, if you had some sort of platform from, from which to view your life, you would understand the role you play in it that much easier, right? So let's have a look at your emotional core uh, for the month of April 2022 for the sign of Leo. Like I said, you're watching Thomas's Tarot page with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, with regards to your emotions this month, we have the snowy owl and the woodpecker. We have the snowy owl and the red-headed woodpecker. Now, that's an interesting combination to have. Because the snowy owl is saying, Leos, when it comes to how you feel, how you feel emotionally, you feel vulnerable. You probably haven't moved on from something that probably this is the way they gave it to me, that probably has happened a while ago and you haven't really properly moved on, right? If that makes sense. So there is some, some residual energy from a time, and the way they give it to me, it is relationship related, um, where you probably didn't feel so good when it ended and you haven't fully released this, right? That's what I'm getting for you as with the snowy owl. But then you have the red-headed woodpecker. And the, wood, the woodpecker and the kingfisher and the hummingbird are the three birds that have one message in common, which is no matter how crooked the tree is, and the tree represents your life, the woodpecker can work it. Right? So when it comes to your emotions, allow yourself to release what still sits there. Allow yourself to, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Allow yourself to, to fully put it to rest and understand if you're looking for new love, if you're looking for new beginnings. Anything you look for 
with regards to being fulfilled emotionally, it makes sense to not carry old stuff over. And the woodpecker is saying, you got this, buddy, right? You will get there and you got this, okay? So that was your emotional core. And let's quickly look at your opportunities or as, uh, at opportunities as they present themselves to your sign of Leo in the month of April 2022. You have the Shaman of Purification and the Hunter of Path. Now, that is very interesting. <clears throat> because the Shaman of Purification means for you to take stock. So, assess your work life. Assess what is it I'm doing here. Even if you're self-employed, it is still something that sustains you financially. So, still assess it, right? Take stock. What is working? What isn't working? In the in-between moments where you feel like this could work if I could do this, if that makes sense, right? You have the shaman of purification. Really, really step back a little and say, like, okay, this is working, this isn't working. Why isn't it working? Without overthinking, say, okay, what can I do? Can I do anything to make this work? And what in all of this are the strong points? And then focus on them uh, in the months of April 2022. Because you have the hunter of path right here which means you are a person right now. They kind of go like, oh. <clears throat> so they're not saying that you're in the wrong area at all, right? Don't hit this wrong. Nobody's saying, you know, what you're doing is not you. But because you have the hunter of past, what they're saying to you is there may be so many more things that you actually want to experience um, and not all of them will present themselves to you quickly. And not everything is ready for you to explore it, if that makes sense. And if you are a person that goes like, the stuff that I'm doing right now totally does my head in, right? Then obviously you have the hunter of paths, which means, you know, as the lion who is very good at hunting, um, go out there and see what's out there that you want to do, make changes um, without being frightened, right? <clears throat> so that is all I got for you, or we got for you, this month. Um, that was for the sign of Leo, and the months of uh, for the sign of Leo and the months of April 2022. With myself, Thomas Yannick, and we're looking at um, you're looking at Thomas's tarot page. So please like, subscribe, and share. And I see you all next month. Bye bye.